guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another truck and vlog and uh, today is the very first day of my brand new job and if you could tell by the uh, drone footage we are over here at RML carriers here out of uh, Springfield Missouri and this is where I'm gonna be starting so today is gonna be pretty much the orientation day um, so I'm gonna let you guys know kind of how that goes here as far as an LTL job um, yeah, I'm really excited to get started. Uh, it's actually like late in the day. It's, it's just about 1.30. That's when the manager told me to get here today so we could start with the paperwork, um, with uh, you know, all the computer training, because every job you start out with, you know, you have to fill out new tax documents, stuff like that, get your direct deposit set up, um, you know, learn how to sign into everything, all that stuff, and do, pretty much everybody has, you know, computer-based, um, trainings that you have to do watch videos take quizzes stuff like that so that's what we are going to do today I believe and so I think uh, it's gonna last a few days and then since my dad actually works here um, the next uh, probably the end of the week and maybe the next week after we're gonna be doing some training so we'll go in the truck and he's gonna train me on how to do the job and it shouldn't take too much to get it down um, because you know I'm already used to driving tractors with 48 foot trailers day cabs um, stuff like that but it's just a different type of work it's gonna be you know delivering freights uh, to customers backing into docks and stuff like that instead of delivering food off of the back of our ramp so I'm real excited to get started and uh, yeah this is gonna be it's gonna be a really nice change and I've already kind of realized that you know it, it's nice to not have to worry about waking up at 2 in the morning to go to work and uh, you know do all that it's a lot so far it, I think it's gonna be a lot less stressful uh, so it's gonna be really good so let's go ahead and head inside and uh, get this started for the day all right so day one of orientation um, you know, new hire process is in the books and got the hat you always got to get a hat man I'm a hat guy so I, uh, you know, always got to have the hat. They actually gave me a pretty, uh, pretty cool, like, new hire goodie bag. Um, but they had uh, scheduled a Zoom uh, call, video call, with one of the HR uh, people from the uh, main headquarters in Wilmington, Ohio. So we did that, and it took like, uh, like an hour and 20 minutes to do that. And we went through, like, the employee handbook, um, you know, got signed on to the you know, employee portal, all that website stuff, um, you know, did the tax documents, set up the direct deposit, did all that. So that was pretty much day one. And, uh, you know, pretty much after, after that, um, you know, they said, go ahead and go home and to come on back tomorrow. Um, he just said no later than 9:45. So I guess I'm going to get there at like 9:30 in the morning and, uh, you know, start on day two, which is, he said it was a driver orientation so I'm assuming probably doing like the classroom training you know the safety stuff you know all that computer based stuff that they've got going on so probably have to do that for the next couple of days so Tuesday and Wednesday and uh, by the time we roll around to Thursday probably go out with my dad in the truck and start learning the the ropes of LTL man learning how to make deliveries pickups do the paperwork stuff like that it's a completely different world outside of food service uh, what I'm gonna do is kind of tie in this whole thing with orientation this whole video so I'm gonna just do all three days or however long it takes in this whole video keep you all updated and posted on what's going on throughout and you know, stuff like that they seem like they're a really easy laid-back uh, easy to get along with company and there's some pretty cool benefits that they offer for being an employee they actually have um, places like resorts hotels and stuff that they own that is strictly for um, employees to you know to utilize so employees can stay there and um, you know it's not like you know you, you just not everybody off the street can walk in and, and reserve these rooms and places to stay it's cool because it's employee you know it's for employees RNL owns these places for employees to utilize and it's really cool um, you know, thing that they offer that not a lot of other places do. I mean, I'm sure there's other trucking companies out there that do, um, you know, but it's kind of hard to find that as far as like a local company goes. So really excited about that. And you know, the vacation builds up pretty easily. Um, you know, after 90 days, and this is all information available on the website when you go to apply for a job so after 90 days uh, it's a week you get a week of, of paid vacation paid time off 
So that's really cool because uh, a lot of places are like, you know, a year. You want to wait a year to, to build up that vacation. So uh, definitely, definitely looking forward to all of this. It's going to be, I think it's really going to be a good place to work. Day two of driver orientation is complete over at r &L. Um, so basically today consisted of more computer stuff. So we had another Zoom call. I guess that's how they're doing it. Um, this Zoom call was, a, I think it was a safety manager or safety, somebody in the safety department at the headquarters was, was the head of the call. And there was like 45 other people, other drivers, you know, from, from uh, yard guys to line hall to other P&D drivers on this call. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was long. <laughs> it was pretty much going over like everything, like watching the videos, taking the quizzes. And there is a lot of the videos and a lot of the quizzes. So like, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point they just don't fly people out to, uh, I think I might've said this in a different clip, but I'd be surprised at some point if they just don't fly people out to Wilmington, Ohio, and they just host a, a huge orientation class. You know, like what over the road companies do because, you know, this seems to be kind of similar, but you know, just over the Zoom meetings. So tomorrow I'll be back at eight in the morning and hopefully finish up the uh, computer quizzes and stuff like that. So I've got from eight to eight to 10. So I've got two hours to do that. And then at 10 o'clock, there's another Zoom call. Oh, and by Thursday, maybe potentially be out um, training in the truck. So yeah, yeah, this is, it's a totally different experience than food, 100%. And uh, I'm just, you know, I'm excited, of course, to get out there and start doing the job. But yeah, everybody's got to do the online training. That's the hardest part of any new job is doing the online courses. So we'll see y'all tomorrow. We're going to go in today and uh, get on the computer again, finish that. I'm going to try to try my best to crank it all out today. Uh, you get all of the online stuff done that way the next step is really worrying about my hazmat with this company We do have to get our hazmat endorsement I think it's like that with probably all the LTL companies uh, because we do haul Hazardous materials we you know big you know, barrels of, of paints or you know, Chemicals and you know plasma for blood centers all sorts of stuff man like there's all sorts of stuff being hauled through LTL It's crazy uh, so yeah, we're gonna go and get this done. We've got another Zoom call. I think I mentioned it in the clip from yesterday. I've got another Zoom call at, I think, 10 o'clock. Yeah, so that'll probably go on for a few hours. And yeah, it's just gonna be another uh, another day of computer-based training, really. So we'll catch back up with you guys probably uh, at the end of the day. All right, guys, little update for the day. Um, I've been doing the computer training and stuff since uh, eight o'clock, eight thirty this morning at least. So that's been going on all day, <laughs> and so uh, decided to, you know, come outside and enjoy some fresh air, get away from the computer because we've got a thirty-minute break. So fortunately, we do get breaks. Yeah, we just learned, covered a bunch of hazmat stuff. The hazmat stuff, it's hard to learn, man. Like, I mean, there's parts of it that make sense, but there's other parts of it that are really confusing, and just uh, it's gonna take a lot of studying uh, because I have to get my hazmat endorsement. So I'm going to have more, even more studying and an actual DMV test to do. So, uh, yeah, got to get uh, got to get prepared for that because I'm going to have to do that soon. But, yeah, it should be only uh, two days of this. So uh, it might vary based off location. But as far as this one goes, uh, looking like only like two days of this computer training. And tomorrow I should be going out on the truck. So this, you know, today will wrap up orientation, really. And then I'll finally get to start learning how to do the job and learning all those aspects of it of course my dad's going to be teaching me so that'll be it'll be nice because you know like i said before don't have to worry about trying to to uh get to know and learn somebody new man we will catch you guys back here in a few more hours once everything's finished all right guys it is uh four o'clock we are done for the day zoom call is done all the classroom training is finished I am 100% done with all of the computer-based training, the Zoom calls, everything, and uh, I've got all my paperwork done that I need, uh, turned into the terminal manager here, and we are ready to go out 
on the road tomorrow. Um, obviously, in everybody else's case, you'll be assigned a driver trainer, and I'm sure every terminal has a certain amount of driver trainers. Um, obviously, since my dad works here and is a driver for this company already, I'm going to be going with him, and he's going to be teaching me how to do um, everything that I need to know how to do. So I am extremely excited to uh, be done with the computer training portion of it. Uh, orientations are always kind of the the hardest part of getting on into a new job. Uh, all the paperwork, all of the uh, you know the, the training modules, all that stuff, the classroom work. Uh, you got to do it everywhere you go. I mean, you can't get away from it. Um, you know, every situation is going to be a little bit different, probably based on the location um, and maybe maybe their need for for drivers or for employees. Uh, when I started at PFG, the orientation was pretty basic and it didn't last very long. I just had to do. Um, kind of the minimum requirement, I would say, because they really needed drivers. So, you know, I had to get out there and get started fairly quickly. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, you know, overall, it was it was, a, it was a pretty good experience. You know, it was just me in there. So um, probably definitely would have been different if there was more than just me. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, I prefer to work kind of alone. That's why I drive trucks. Um, so uh, it was nice just to be able to, to get stuff done at my own pace. And then doing the uh, doing the Zoom call, um, it was it was pretty cool because um, you know you you get more information when somebody's there talking to you, and you can ask questions, and other people ask questions that you may not have thought of. So you, you get all that information. So it's nice uh, to do that. It's kind of like a kind of like a situation when you go to a mega carrier and you go to their home term terminal and you know you do the orientation in person so kind of like that but over over the zoom calls and stuff like that so yeah it was a good experience uh you know good orientation um hazmat is going to be the next big step uh, i'm gonna have to figure out how and when i can go do that and how to do that obviously i have to apply for it have a background check done fingerprints taken all that stuff and go to the dmv and take a test i'm not sure if it's just a, a written test or with the new eldt mandate it's something different um, i guess we're gonna have to wait and find out ready to pull these 48 foot trailers drive these green trucks and deliver some ltl freight and i hope you guys are um ready to join the ride with me so we're gonna see what we can get ourselves into here in the ltl world and uh yeah i'm all about it man i really am it's gonna be it's it's gonna be a much better much better vibe for sure like i i could already tell definitely could already tell 100 percent. but uh yeah if you guys are interested in joining an ltl company i mean there's there's plenty around here i mean you see you've got you've got rnl dorn estes xpo you got all sorts of options out there so if you want to make the switch over to ltl and do something different um you know just look around you and see what you got available i'm sure you could probably find something but as always guys thank you so much for watching thank you for uh sticking with me here and i hope we're ready for this ltl journey um this is somewhere where i am planning on staying for quite a while so um yeah, be prepared to follow along with me. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you in the next one.